I decided already that I wanted to play another support game just to carry on this kind of trend that we're doing here on the ASMR cast. And I feel like it's working quite nicely, so sit back and relax. We've got some Dota to play. Interesting lineup. We could get a double kill off of the IO, which would be good. So let's aim for it. Not necessarily going to uh, going to be able to achieve it, but the challenge is there for us anyway. We've also got that bounty hunter one that you saw just there. Something else for us to have to do. So we'll have to take that on at some point soon. Now, we can actually buy both wards here, which is good. Uh, and just take them along with us. We're going to do some interesting warding here. If we're going to be allowed to do it. We're going to try and get a ward up here. I don't know if there's anybody around there. It's... We'll have to wait and see what's going on down there. Sanking's going down to bottom. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be going up to support anti-mage. Which, actually, shouldn't be too bad. Anti-mage and witch doctor combination. Feels like it would be pretty good. Okay, looks like nobody's around. Super quick warning and back out again. There might actually not be anybody here. Okay, we're good. Fantastic. That was quite a uh, surprise. There was just nobody hanging around. Good news for us anyway. So we're going to place our ward just here. And get ready for our positioning. And if nobody's around, we may as well go into secret shop temporarily. And just sort of hang out here. Whilst they uh, kind of get into position. And we wait to see who's knocking about our oh, Necrophos. Glorious, glorious Necrophos. He's just hanging out having a good time. Although he's going to get quite hurt from me here. And actually, he feels like he wants to try and fight me. Strangely enough. Oh well. That'll do. I'm going to eat a uh, Tango. Ah, oh, damn, that's a shame. Anti-Mage is going in for the kill. That was quite an aggressive play. I'm going to have to uh, give myself a little bit of heals. Don't want to waste all my mana. But we've got the Tango, so we should be okay. Straight on the tower here, yeah, this is good. It's because he's a, a tricky customer with his uh, Heartstopper Aura, which causes us damage over time. It's pretty horrible. Now we're out of mana, so I wish I had bought a clarity. But never mind about that. We'll have to actually bring one down to us. How are we doing for wards? I'm gonna buy it. I'll get this stuff brought across to us. Yeah, he's really not interested in playing the game. I do have heals, so I'm in a good uh, position here. His damage is, uh, is way down right now. He is increasing his uh, himself. But there's just uh, not a lot that I can do. So we're going to have to get the clarity. Eat the clarity. And go for some heals whilst the clarity's on. Just hang out for a bit. Try to keep anti-mage in the uh, the heels here. That's it. That's all I'm giving him. I'm gonna let the rest for actual proper clarity. So I'll just hang on to that. Anti-mage is uh, back out again. This Necrophos is so just oh, it's really dangerous. At least he had another tango that he could use. But that whole stop aura is back again, and it's just ridiculous. And again, the cask does not bounce on him at all. It's just ridiculous. Well, that's how this game goes. 
goes sometimes. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. We'll just have to keep on going and pushing it up and out and get the career in. And then we'll get another clarity. And maybe even a, like a set another clarity as well. Right now, it's more. It's a better use of my money than Tango's are. He's uh, actually pushing really hard in here for the attack. I've got my Maledict now, which I can use against him, which is good news. The bad news is he's hanging around for an attack. Ah, oh, this guy. Okay. Let's get these uh, on the go here. Well, that should help us out a little bit. But once again, we've got to go and just chill out and wait for our mana to regen up here. And not get hit. Because if we get hit, our clarity actually gets lost, unfortunately. Uh, we've got Invoker coming in. This is good. Good chance for a full-on attack on him. Uh, you got the kill. That's good. I wasn't in enough range to get any experience or gold out of it, but... Doesn't matter, really. Because he's dead. He's out of the experience range temporarily. And anti mage is back with us again. Fantastic. So, the clarity is now done, and we are back onto over half of our mana pool, which is not too bad, not great either, but we actually have enough to do a Maledict and a Paralyzing Cask, which is pretty good. It's just a question of whether or not he decides to come in for a proper attack or not. He did go in for it, and the Maledict is going to do a good amount of damage. Not enough to kill him, but a good, good amount. Back onto the Clarity again. And this time we're going to give ourselves a little bit of healing. And give anti a little bit of healing as well. There we go. And then back in off a little bit more. Try to stay out of the heart stop Aurora. He is such low health. It's ridiculous that he hangs around like that. Wait and see. Right, he's still coming in. It's gonna not bounce on him again. Oh man. So unlucky with these casks. It's crazy. That's it, that's all I've got. It's not gonna be good enough. Invoker is hanging about, but. There's just not much we can do. Okay, well, I'm gonna get my boots. And we'll start focusing on more long term mana regen now. We'll get our uh, arcane boots in 900 gold from the secret shop. Need to wait for that to come in, but I can just carry on saving my mana now. There's not much point in using a heal at all. Especially not when this guy's being so aggressive. Gotta try and save it. A bottle would be really good, a regen would be amazing, but uh, it's just not going to happen. So we're going to have to use this here. Because that one's about to expire, literally, in 10 seconds. Uh, he's just knocking about again. I have to uh, defend there. We can't do anything about this uh, Necrophos, really. We're so just stuck. It's really frustrating. The Hardstop Aurora is so powerful against us. This guy just doesn't want to go in or do anything. I think we, I might have to actually switch out lanes uh, to let Anti-Mage get a bit of solo experience. Because otherwise, I mean, we're, so, we're so stuck, it's just ridiculous. I just have to bring these things back here and try to get the 900 gold that we need for our boots and then we'll be in a much better situation without mana we, we, we suck basically well that's anti-mage dead we don't have enough mana still not even for a so we can do some right click, but that's about it. Just nothing. Well, we'll just have to carry on as normal. We actually 
actually do have Ultimate now, which is great news, but not enough of anything to do anything with it or use it. Which is a shame. Oh, this is good. There we go. Fantastic. That's a really good hit there from Sand King. Very useful. Okay. We're going to deny this out. And move back up again. And just try to get some of these hits here. And try and save enough for our ulti. Yep. We need to get another... Well... 300 gold, 350 gold now. I'm not going to waste this on the Paralyzing Cask here. I've now got enough to do my ultimate, and that's pretty much all I need. So, look, he's coming in. Necrophos is coming in. Is he coming in hard? Not hard enough right now. Yeah, not hard enough. So we're just going to hang out for a bit. And just see what he decides to do. If he moves up more aggressively, then uh, we are in a much better situation. But if he doesn't, then... Oh, here he goes. Okay, that's an aggressive maneuver. And just like that, got him in a position where he can't move backwards, thanks to the ultimate. And that gives us a great chance to attack. Good stuff. And 200 gold away now, if we can take this tower. We can't take this tower, but we can try. I might do a paralyzing cask here. Uh, it's not really worth it at this point. Let's wait for the next round of creeps to come in. And then we'll use it on them. It's a max level now, so... It'll be quite a good thing to do if we can. Out of nowhere. Yep, nothing there at all, apart from a little star bounty hunter. Didn't really do anything, because he did the, uh, the puff back into invisibility. Ah, which is challenging, because it means we are quite exposed. Like, there he is, doing some crazy damage. I'll just chart here and give everybody some heals. Because I can. There we go. Oh, I, didn't, I need to make sure I don't die. If I die here, then uh, we're in so much trouble. Oh, Phantom Lancer. Going for Anti Mage. Yeah, three top. Just 
do a little bit of healing because we can. Not enough to waste my ultimate, of course, but enough just to give us a bit of a, a boost. Uh, Spanked was in a dangerous position and has cost his life. But they're just hanging out now. Our bottom is going to need help. Like badly, because of two and Phantom Lancer. I'm going to try and support it and stop them, but it's going to be difficult. Let's wait and see what happens here. I can just paralyzing cask on them. Uh, it's just going to cause uh, a few problems for them. Which is good. And we are onto some more mana, which is good. And there we go. Tower safe, no problems. Uh, it looks like they're going in for the attack on the Phantom Lancer there. Managed to get it. It's a much less aggressive Phantom Lancer than the other game that we played, which is good news. So I'll bring these over to us now, and we'll just go straight into our scepter, I think. Invisibility is not, like, super crucial right now, because they're not really posing too much of an aggressive game. So we'll just go for that. Get this tower down, and then go into it straight away. We'll have to wait and see if we can find this bounty hunter here. An escape could be actually quite a nice thing to get, but... Oh, this is so good. Okay. Sand King's just gonna sort of hang out here for a bit. Give everyone some mana. Go for the crazy aggressive here. Double on the Sand King. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, he's dead. Maldict's gonna finish him off. There's no way he'd survive that, even without the uh, attack there from uh, Sand King. Perfect. Okay, everyone's dead, we may as well just uh, carry on pushing this out. Seeing as we're here anyway. We'll just do our job. There we go, everyone's getting some good health. I'll get some mana back when the boots come in to play. And we're going to head over to middle. There we go, everyone's on full health again. Four, three, two, one, and done. Nice. Lots of pinging on the map going on because there's attacks over the top. Uh, I'm going to get this ace rune. And I'm going to go in with it. i try and get up to top without buying a TP here. sort of moving around, making them uh, second-guess themselves a little bit here. Okay, Phantom Lancer seems to want to just hang about for a bit. That's fine, he can just go over there, no problem at all. What we need to try and do is get some more focus on Xenobia uh, players to be able to cast our ultimate and get some really good attacks coming in. Again with the more mana. Doom good silence right now, so we best not play too super duper aggressively. I kind of want to go back and actually get myself another. Uh, actually, we're going to have to stay here for Doom. Get myself the Aegon Scepter oh, from Secret Shop. But that's going to be a challenge. Uh, right, let's go for this. Sides come forward. Nope. That was really far back, so never mind. Whatever. Best thing for us to do then, whilst we're here, is probably just sit in the trees and get ready for a ultimate smash. Oh, it's good. Uh, it's very good. I'm just going to finish those guys off anyway. Creeps and stuff. Now do. Oh, he's so aggressive. The blaze. The blaze. 
so that's going to be pretty important. Uh, really heavy aggressive play for this tower now. And that's Phantom Lancer down. That's hilarious that they went in so deep for that. I mean, a, one, a tier 1 tower for two people, I don't think that's worth it personally. And we're going to trade here for their tier 1 anyway, and not lose any of our players. Which is much better. So we'll go up for tier 1 over the top here. And try and push it out for a nice aggressive play. Uh, gonna have to get this. And also head to the side shop. Because we need a couple of teleporters. Scrolls, that is. Uh, so let's just quickly hop over here and get a couple of those so we have more maneuverability. Sorted, that'll do. Uh, get up here and just give everybody max mana because I can. And bring it down for this tower which we've already worked on quite nicely. The cask is uh, doing its job really well there, getting everything dead. Perfect. Okay. That's that tower down. And now we need to go and push out mid. Although there's somebody here who wants a little fight. Let's go wait and see where he is. We're all coming in for it. There he is. He's running out. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, never mind that. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I got the double kill. I got the double kill on that. Which is brilliant. That's the sort of plays that we need to be doing. Three level up from that. And Bounty Hunter getting out. Get the Denial on the Tower. Oh no! That's a shame. Okay, so just push it out back a little bit. No death still in this game, which is good news. And also the other thing is we can now afford this. So we are getting a scepter on crazy 22 minutes. That's a, that's a good play. The game is relatively even, apart from the fact that we have all this uh, really awesome play that we're doing. 9 for 18, but the towers are even. I'd say that we are probably on top, even though they're managing to uh, to get some little cheeky shots in. We'll definitely go for our four staff now for some more maneuverability. That's like the most important thing right now. Okay, we're going to go over here and try and get this Observer Ward now. Hopefully no one's around. Yeah, we're okay. Lovely. So we need to just get out, essentially. It's not actually that strong on Painful, which is surprising. Oh, we can just go over here anyway. Oh no! That's very painful. I was not expecting to be pulled like that from uh, Spectre, is it? No, not Spectre. Uh, here. Ouch. That's the first really stupid thing I've done all game. Wow, exciting. <laughs> well, we do our best anyway. Let's carry on focusing. We need to try and get a couple more wards, which I've... Okay, Sanking's already on it, which is good. Um, I need to push in for my four stuff. So I'll save for that, and we'll see if we can do an, ag an aggressive ward here. Let's see what happens when the next wave of creeps come in here. It could be the seed creep, creep wave. In which case I'll have to go bottom and try and defend that out. Uh, let's see. No, we've already got a second wave coming in. We're actually probably on, a, on an overall more aggressive stance right now over down the bottom. Unless, nope, we're going to lose that range creep. So 
it's going to be level begging. I'll just go with the team then, I guess. Makes more sense, I think. We've got our double kill, which is the important thing. We just need to try to focus now and get some better kills. Okay, so Dark's here, really wants that. So we're going to go in to help here. The bounces are so good. That's amazing. We've got enough mana to just keep on regening everybody. Thankfully. That is so good. Okay, we'll be able to take this tier 2 down here now, I think. He managed to blink out there. And we lost our own focus, sadly. too much of my mana on healing everybody up, but I am a support, so I'd rather do what I've got to do. That was a good fight, though. We should be able to get tier 2 here if we play this right. It's uh, really aggressive. Like, incredibly aggressive plays. My heals are not going to be able to survive. Nope. Okay, but the tower. Oh, it's close. It wasn't worth it. We've got a TP out. Which I guess is something. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So, second TP, second scroll. Uh, second ward, sorry. Second TP, second ward. And... Again, just carry on trying to focus on that full stuff. Get some escape, but some basic escape. Everyone's dead over there anyway. 
my death all didn't write, but the fact that I moved after the Dark Seer uh, pulled me. He pulled me, and my death ward uh, triggered after that because the command was set. And then, uh, unfortunately, I then tried to move away, uh, not thinking that the. I, th I thought that my moving away would be an overriding command for the ultimate, but it didn't work that way. Never mind, though. This is still absolutely fine. We are we are still doing exceptionally well. Whilst I'm here, I may as well just get a second TP. And we'll come back down into middle. See if we can get some good scrolls down now. Uh, some good wards, sorry. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go and put one up here. I have good visibility on there. I'm gonna go put one over here. Hopefully no one's around. Yep, we're okay. They noticed, but... It's ridiculous. I'm out. Restoring my health as we speak. Yeah, we're okay. Oh god, okay, maybe we're not okay. Oh man, crazy. Ow! Okay, we need to actually just back out here as quickly as we can. So 
uh, looks like it will be Phantom Lancer with the Vladimir's offering giving her a good amount of life steal. They're going to push for it. They're not going to get it because I'm going to be up and I'm going to be able to defend quite nicely, I think. Uh, I'm going to have to get this. A couple more of these. And I guess some of those while we're at it. Okay, I'm going to be here in a couple of seconds. I could have TP'd, but it's not worth it, really. We're going to be okay. It's only a, uh, just over a minute on the cooldown for that now these days anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's just completely killed off any of their momentum they might have had. like 
looks super fine.
if you're enjoying watching we can carry on doing this, no problem at all. But until next time guys, I've been Kaf of the ASMR cast. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Sweet dreams.